Hi everyone, welcome to yet another future review. Today I'm going to show you how I have uh, reimagined the smaller base from the Futura monorail transport system. Okay, if you look at the original base here on the left, then you can see this is again like most of the bases from the 80s, a little bit skeletonic. It has a uh, nice pieces like this uh, big panel. Uh, it all, it's also big in uh, volume, so to say, so it's quite widespread compared to the pieces that are that are available in this in this base. But still, if you look at it, it it's quite skeletonical. So uh, I have always felt I I have to reimagine this one, and from the beginning, this section here, this big panel, along with these uh, radar dishes and the protrusions have always seemed like a big spaceship for me but of course i knew from the beginning that if i touch this then i will have to shift everything a little bit down because uh, i will not have enough space the rails are too close to this this window panel so uh, after long and painful buildings and considerations this is the end result, and I have uh, entitled it, uh, at least the ship, uh, the Grasshopper Transporter. A little bit later I will show you why, how it got its name. But uh, let's, let's first uh, turn these sets around a little bit, just observe the similarities in the build from different angles. This is how they look uh, side by side. One thing that you can instantly recognize is that I have turned this panel upside down because the proportions seem better that way. So instead of being it kind of tall, to make it a little bit longer. This is how the sets look like from, let's say, half rear view. As you can see, this little PC where you can lift or lower the cargo has been eliminated. Sorry, I may come up some, with something like that in the future, but for the time being, I, I didn't feel I needed that. And also, as you can see, the proportions have changed significantly. The rails are still close to the base, but the whole thing traveled a lot to the front. Why these proportions in the end were roughly, roughly uh, kept. Okay, but let's start to focus on the build itself and how it's structured. Of course, the build can be separated into two big chunks. We have a big spaceship here and the complete base. Let's deep dive first into, into the spaceship. As you can see, the spaceship holds onto the base with these little arms. So before you lift it, you have to loosen them a little bit, you bring it up, then this is what remains of the base. Okay, so let's see how it lands. As you can see here on the side, it has some uh, arms. It can rest against those. But to be frank, if I put it down like this, it will not stay in position, it will fall to the back. In order to have it positioned in the right angle, you have to push here a little bracket, like that, it will loosen up the rear legs. As you can see, these are locking uh, hinges. There are also a few uh, friction pins involved, so technically it can rotate around, so you can decide how you want to pose it. You can just pose it backwards like this, or as I better like it, you can also turn it a little bit outside. And then you will have a more insectish look to it. To be frank, that's the position, that's the structure 
for which it got its name, the Grasshopper Transporter. And also it's a good rhyme. Okay, now that we have uh, landed, let's see what other features this ship has. Of course, the cockpit can be opened up. You can see a nice green feature and figure in there, in his uh, chair. There are some levers here, and it's quite uh, strongly decorated on the inside. There are panels there cell phone and also on the other side there are some tools he can even turn around and look around in the back of the ship but that's not the only fun part here the back of the ship can open up, creating a small ramp, so to say. And of course, if there is a ramp and if there is a cargo bay, something will go in there. For this, I have built this little future on, I don't know what's this, this uh, exploratory vehicle. It can examine the surface, look for metals or other resources as you wish of course the wheels can rotate on this uh, thread one thing this piece sadly is not available in white so i have to wait for that it's on my watch list but if you really want you can just go in there And you can close this in. Ta-da! If you look at it from the side, then you can see there are some danger stripes there to further indicate that something is happening there. Good. What else? We are not done yet. Let's try to fly away once more and see what else this ship can do. Of course, the rear legs can be closed in just like they have been opened. There are multiple arrows indicating that something is happening there, here and there. Let's close in this one as well. If you want, you can keep this angled. Flatten it down, it's up to your taste. And of course, these can also be closed in. Let me show you one fun part. Of course, when you are flying, safety is very, very important. For this reason, when you... Let's take out this vehicle. When you close it in, the whole structure closes so. that the captain's seat is secured so it will not turn around no looking around while flying please do not talk to the driver Ta -da. so that's the complete and uh, compact form for flying Yeah, almost forgotten, but we are not done yet. There must be a reason why these things are here. So let me open them up. And let's bring in an old future and style, or let's say monorail style cargo. That's it can hold and carry around. Okay, let's go back to the base. Going back to the base, this is how it looks like without the ship deployed. 
There is some yellow here in the grills. I don't know whether it's visible. I've been considering it very heavily whether I want to do it or not. But since yellow is is already present in a few ways in in the feature and set, I have allowed myself this little bit diversion from the color and also with the gray, since the tracks are gray anyway. When you deploy the ship, this is not visible at all. Until then, it does not bug me as much as it could. On the base, of course, we have a little worker here to show whether we can land or not. Here we have the old uh, monorail panel for, for stopping the ship itself. In order to access that, you can lean these parts down. And once done so, you can access the track and make the monorail stop or go as in the original. This section, if you look at it without the ship, remained almost the same except for these panels. But these have a very nice use because you can use it as a kind of uh, airport. So you can land here smaller future on vehicles. Okay, let's put back the whole thing together again so I will close the parts let's have him standing again and here comes the ship stabilizers open and we land yeah it locks him pretty safe even without these closed in but for the look it looks a little bit better if you also align these ones so that's the grasshopper transporter and its base and once I'm done I'm almost sure not very soon but once I'm done with the other bigger base as well a big rebuild of that I will put the whole thing together and we are going to have a lot monorail fun. Until then, see you soon. Bye.